In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to plot a line graph with two separate y or vertical axes. An example of when you might do this is when you've got lactate threshold results and you want to plot both lactate and heart rate on the same graph with separate axes. Say for instance if you did it normally and you plotted both of them only using one axis, you would notice that it wouldn't actually display very well, so it would be quite useful to have two separate axes as the lactate values, as you can see, are quite low whereas the heart rate values, which are indicated on this side, are actually quite high. In order to do this, you would need to use your data. As with the other tutorials, I've got some existing data, which you can see I've got the different stages of the test, also I've got the lactate results and the heart rate results. Now, in order to create the graph like we had previously, um, the best way to do it that I've found is to highlight all of the cells. Once you've done this, click Insert and Line. So again, all I've done is highlighted all of the cells and then released, insert, line, and for me, I'm just going to choose this first one. Okay, and this is what I mean in which um, it doesn't plot very well if you've only got one single axis. As you can see that here, the lactate, it looks almost like it's a steady line, when in reality, it isn't. For this example, I'm going to have the heart rate as a secondary axis. So that will mean, as you've seen before, the lactate will be on this one, which will be your primary axis, and then your heart rate will be over the other side on the secondary axis. Now, in order to do that, you then need to select the one that you want as your secondary axis, which, as I've said, is the heart rate, which we know from here is the red one. So once you select it, you then right click and format data series. So again, all I did was right click, format data series, and now you'll hear it say primary axis or secondary axis. As we've just said, we want it to be a secondary axis, so therefore I'm going to select it. Once you've select it, selected it, hit close. Now you'll see that you've got your lactate on this side and your heart rate over on the other side. This is an easy method on how to create a line chart with two separate Y or vertical axes. I'd recommend giving each axis a title so it's clear. Like I've mentioned in another tutorial, a way to do this is to actually select the chart and then select layout. I've also mentioned that if, say for instance, the chart isn't selected, layout does not appear. So again, select the chart and then layout. Firstly, I'm going to give the whole chart a title. So again, like before, hit chart title and then I'm going to select above chart. So now you can select within the area and type any title that you'd like. As before, in one of the other tutorials, I'm going to reduce the font size. Next, I'm going to give it the primary axis or primary y axis a title. So again, select it, then layout, and now it's going to be axis titles. This time you'll see that you've got primary and also secondary. So we're going to be looking at the primary vertical axis as it is the one that run, runs vertically. So okay, I'm also going to do rotated. I'm going to select in the area here and then type in lactate which is in millimoles. Next up, I'm going to um, do exactly the same, however, for the secondary axes. So again, it's the secondary vertical axes, and I'm also going to do this rotated. So again, selecting the area, and this time it's going to be heart rate, which is in beats per minute. Another tip that you can use is if you actually want to indicate where each of the data values are. Because at the moment you can see that there's just a line but there's then nothing to indicate each stage. In order to do this you need to select the line that you want to um, change and then right click. So that was to select it and then right click and now format data series. Now all we're going to do is add in markers which indicate each of these results here. So we're going to look at marker options and as you can see there's nothing there or none. So we're just going to change that to automatic. Once you select close, you can now see that each of these have been indicated. So to do this to the other line, you simply select it, right click, format data series, and on marker options, change it to automatic. And that's done.